Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. We are going to take to the tarot cards here today and find out more about your love interest. Um, we're going to take a look at a you versus them love read where we're going to take a look at your energy and then the energy of your love interest. Capricorn, if you are not dealing with anyone in love, then you can substitute this person for a friend or a family member, a work colleague, whoever you're connecting to or dealing with this week. It is a general reading, so just take what speaks, leave what doesn't. Do not take the messages personally, you guys. It is a general reading. However, it can feel personal to you. And if you are connecting to the reading here today, then be sure to show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget Capricorn to hit that little notification bell upon subscription as well, okay? That way you're always notified and informed of every time I release a new video here on the channel. And I just want you to know Capricorn, your support is greatly appreciated. <clears throat> I am going to use two decks here today, one for your energy and then one for the energy of the person that you are connecting to, dealing with and thinking of in love this week. And then towards the end of the reading Capricorn, we are going to grab an animal spirit card to close out this reading with an extra message, could be advice, just could be a, an extra message that you may need to hear regarding the situation this week. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that that's all in frame and it appears to be so. We have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords, we have the Queen of Cups reversed. We have the Eight of Cups. For those of you who are new, I like to wait for the cards to pop out. Sometimes I just feel intuitively called to hand pick a card as well. I just go with my intuition. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the Tower and the Magician in Reverse. I felt that energy. I'll explain it in a minute. So <clears throat> give me a moment. Oh, my chair. I need to fix it. I've got my cup of tea. My hands are cold. It's winter here in the Southern Hemisphere and my hands are always cold. And I like to have a cup of tea on hand because it helps me just to warm up my hands. Um, okay. So I see that you're upset here, Queen of Cups Reverse. You're upset. Um, you may have had your feelings hurt. Um, I see there's a lot of conflict or there's a lot of tension. I do see that you are trying to work on your relationship or you're trying to work on the current situation. But I feel there's always tension. There's always arguments. And I feel like... This tension and arguments coming in with the Five of Swords is, is upsetting you. Um, there are times, Capricorn, where you feel like, is this worth it? Like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? Am I wasting my time? Am I beating my head against a brick wall? Do I stay? Do I go? I see for some of you, you are emotionally unhappy but I also see you at the same time wanting to work on it and improve on it and maybe in the recent past you you feel like you've done all that you could to work on the relationship to mend it to repair it But I'm getting here this week for you that there's moments where you're pausing and reflecting and thinking, am I better off by myself? Okay. I feel with the tower card here, there's been some kind of a blow up. Okay. Um, and the magician in reverse would tell me here that, you know, you've tried, you've tried 
um, and in the end, like something came crashing down. Yeah. So let's take to the cards and just expand on these messages. <clears throat> Okay, so let's clarify this three of pentacles. We've got the four of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you, you didn't want to let this go or you don't want to let this relationship go. I feel like you're sort of hanging in there doing your best to see if you can salvage it, to see if there's any life left in the relationship or the partnership. You could also be holding on uh, Capricorn because of the assets, because of what you've built together with this person. Okay, it's like, you know what, I've worked so hard to get here. Like, I have a lot here with this person. Like, do I just throw it all away? And I see here you were doing your best or you are still trying to do your best to hold on. But there are moments where you feel like walking away. You are thinking about it. It does upset you, but there's always conflict and tension here. There's always fighting. There's always arguments. Nine of Cups. I feel with the Nine of Cups, the Strength card in reverse. I feel like maybe someone's ego got in the way here. Okay, the Five of Swords can speak to... Someone being the winner and someone being the loser. And I feel like maybe Capricorn, for a short period of time, you were like, you know what? I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to not hold back because the strength is in reverse. So this is like a, you know what? I'm not going to hold back what I really want to say. I'm going to say it. And for a short period of time, that made you feel good. But then when the dust settled, it was like, mm, I don't feel so good right now. I don't feel so happy right now. Yeah, Ten of Swords, you are, I want to say, heartbroken. Um, you feel hurt, painstakingly hurt. You feel that the situation is getting on top of you. To the point where you just feel like giving up. This Ten of Swords can speak to a painful ending. And this painful ending is very upsetting for you. Because you're all about stability. You're all about security. But I see here with the Nine of Pentacles that you will be okay, Capricorn. If you end up being single or on your own, um... You will be okay. Let's expand on this Eight of Cups. Four of Cups. You are sick and tired of just dealing with rubbish. You are sick and tired of just the little bits of affection you were getting. I feel like you grew bored and disinterested in what was offered to you emotionally. Okay, you just feel like this, you still have feelings here. I feel like you're still holding on to even the breadcrumbs. <clears throat> the star card reversed. You're losing hope. You're losing faith that this is salvageable. Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like you're giving up, Capricorn. Or there's this sense that you want to give up because you've you've really tried. You know, when the Ten of Wands is in the upright, this is telling me that at some point you did give it your best shot. At some point you did everything that you could to carry this relationship, to carry this person, to keep it all together. But I see you like letting go and on some level you're telling yourself 
I think it's best. I think it's best. Because I also see here with the Magician in Reverse that you don't want to manifest a new beginning with this person, okay? You're just like, I'm not trying. The, the Magician, when he's in Reverse, he's not trying, okay? And because you maybe you stopped trying, maybe you stopped giving, maybe you stopped pouring in to this person and it all fell apart, you know? So I'm going to take these away and we're going to take a look at your person's energy. We're going to use a different deck for this part of the reading, Capricorn. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, guys, if the messages feel personal to you. Um, yeah, let us know by liking, sharing, subscribing. If you feel that someone else needs to hear this message today, if you know another Capricorn that needs to hear this message today, please be sure to share. But otherwise, let's dive on in now and take a look at the energy of the person that you are dealing with in love. Remember, for those of you who are not dealing with anyone in love, you can substitute that. Okay, they've got the Sun card. The Ace of Swords. You could be connecting to a Leo here. We have the Eight of Swords. Oh, <clears throat> we have the Five of Swords. We have the High Priestess. They have the Four of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck, they have the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This person um, that you are dealing with keeps a lot to themselves. I feel like they really hold back. I feel like they don't share their feelings with you or they don't say too much with you here with the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles reversed. I do feel on some level with the Four of Pentacles, but we will go in to clarify that this person can be stingy at times, stingy with their finances, stingy with their affection, stingy with their love. Okay, it could be that this person finds it very difficult to give Okay, um, I feel like with the Sun card here that this person is more of a taker. Maybe they want all the attention. They want you to adore them, to admire them, to put them on a pedestal. I do get the sense with the Sun card that this person's energy is a selfish one. Um, like, I'm really sorry to all of you cross watchers that may be tuning into this, but... That is what I'm feeling. Okay, externally, this person is appearing like they're okay, but there's a different struggle going on internally with this person. Because the, eight, the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords are telling me so, that this person fights with their thoughts probably on a day-to-day -day basis. We even see it here with the Two of Swords and the Seven of Swords. You know, this person is in conflict with themselves. Mm. I do feel that this person with the Seven of Swords isn't being honest with you. Okay, but I see here with the Ace of Swords that they know they should be honest with you. They should be telling you some kind of truth. I feel like this person is hiding something from you. I really do. And I feel the struggle here with this person is whether or not they should be honest with you about the Seven of Swords. They're definitely in two minds of whether they should come out and reveal some kind of truth. The High Priestess tells me 
that they're keeping something back from you. The Five of Swords here, this person is, you know, it's, it's really getting to them mentally. Um, the, the pressure of whether or not they should tell you is getting to them. <clears throat> uh, but part of the reason I feel that the reason why they don't say anything is because they can't see what will happen. They, they can't see the result of what would happen uh, if they were to tell you. So we're going to go into expand because there's a lot here that is hidden and I can't even see what that is. So let's, let's expand. Let's find out what it is that you should know about this person. Okay, the Sun card, the Four of Swords. Again, I'm getting this strong sense that this person is a taker. They are holding back something here. They could be using the silent treatment to draw your attention because they want your attention on them. Let's expand on the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there you go. Five of Cups reversed and the Four of Pentacles. So there's something here that this person is keeping from you. I do feel that they are very, very regretful. They are struggling about coming clean about whatever this is. It could be to do with finances, guys. I'm seeing a lot of pentacles here. So it could be in relation to the finances. Again, I'm getting this stingy energy. <clears throat> hmm. Let's expand on the Eight of Swords. We've got Judgment in Reverse. Yeah, there's definitely some internal conflict going on with this person, okay? The inner critic is literally eating them up alive. And it's keeping them trapped. Let's expand on the Five of Swords. We've got the Moon in Reverse, yep. And the Knight of Wands, they're, they're suppressing their feelings. They're suppressing their passions. Okay, them literally not taking action is causing them some kind of distress. Let's find out more about this High Priestess. Two of Swords reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, Three of Wands. This person's decided to move on. This person has decided to not pour into the relationship anymore. They've decided to let go, pour on, uh, pour on, move on. They're looking elsewhere. Okay, three of wands. They've already decided to move on. But this is what they're not telling you. Or this is what they're holding back from you. I feel like this person has emotionally left the building. Okay, that's why they're holding back here with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, the Empress in Reverse. The King of Cups. Yeah, they're, they're withholding emotional connection from you. With the Empress in Reverse tells me here that this person has stopped giving to the relationship. Okay, they don't want to grow this connection. They don't want to expand it. And I feel like they're withholding their affection and their love and their whatever. The romantic side. <coughs> But it's kind of like they're trying to sneak out the door. 
okay um so i'm getting sort of like a little bit of like cowardly energy capricorn so um okay let's grab an animal spirit card for an advice card for you guys oh i'm sorry it wasn't um more positive we have the zebra So um, the upward pointing triangle in the zebra represents fire, okay, and fire represents change, passions. So I do feel that there is a change in the wind coming upon you. Um, and the zebra is sort of calling for you to maybe step out of your comfort zone. Okay, do something different. Um, I do feel, yeah, I just feel with the zebra uh, that this is a change in the wind. Okay, there's definitely changes unfolding here for yourself. I feel with the zebra's third eye lit up, I feel that intuitively maybe perhaps you have felt this for quite some time. Capricorn, but the zebra is like, now it's time to cross that zebra crossing. And now it's time to, you know, cross the bridge. You've come to that, you've come to that point, you know, it's kind of like um, that fork in the road. You've come to that point, you've come to that crossroads, and now it's time to make a decision. So there we have it, Capricorn. That's your reading. Hopefully that was helpful in some way. And until next time, take care.